Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you some clips of the day after I installed the front lip uh, the first time. In this video I'm going to show you how I want to reinstall it but I'm not going to put the weather strip on it and I'm going to show you uh, what I did and um, hope you like it. Alright so right here on the side I already started pulling off because I only put like one little strand of tape. And over here, it was already peeling off even more too. So, because on this side, it was, the lip itself was like bent to the left. So, I don't think the double-sided tape is gonna be enough to hold it in place. Everything else is good. Another, another place you have to keep, make sure you do right is um, when you put the, this, the weather stripping. If you don't put it right right here in my case i messed up too I, I didn't do it right you have to actually go all the way around but you don't have to go all the way around you could just go like to right there so it could look good from the outside because um if you don't do it right here you're gonna have a big gap i tried pushing it up so the gap could be hitting this could be hitting this up here but it didn't hold on my other one i did it like that I, I was able to push it all the way up and and put the screw underneath and it hold it but right there it didn't hold i had cut it to right here and um thinking i wasn't going to be able to push it all the way up so to reduce this gap but the gap is pretty big like over here you can see it more so you have to make sure when you put the well right here's already coming down too look you see that's why it's more but when you do the weather strip you have to make sure you do that properly because then it won't look good you, you're supposed to go all the way around but it's kind of hard to go like from this this angle to this angle and then to twist it down that way it would be ideal to twist it all the way around because then you have that big gap right there so right now I'm gonna see what I could do to fix that. But yeah, that's a key point right there. You have to make sure this is on property because if you don't put this piece right here, you're gonna have this gap from here to here. And then, um, so once you put the little screw right here, there's no way that this is gonna stick anymore. You'll be, you'll be good. The little screw right here, Will, will assure you that it's not gonna be pulling off at all anymore so the first thing i'm gonna do before i reinstall it i actually put like some double-sided tape here and over here and i'm gonna do a test fit to see how it's gonna fit um i already did it so since i don't have the weather strip it kind of um has more space in between the the car and the, the spoiler so the only thing I had to do here is cut a little bit here and cut a little bit here. So that way it'll, it'll be more flush when I stick the tape on it and there won't be no gap up here. I've seen um, other cars. I think a lot, a lot of the people, they don't like to put the weather strip. They, they prefer without the weather strip. So on this installation, I'm gonna do it without it. And, and the same thing on the other side. Um, I just stopped. Uh, test fitted it to see um, how it was gonna fit. And I just did a little bit of cut right here and a little bit of cut over here. So that way I could see exactly how it's gonna fit. And it looks like it's gonna fit actually better with without it than, than with it. So a little, I trimmed it a little bit here and a little bit, just tiny bit right there. So that's how it's gonna look. There's not that much gap in the, just right here. But I'm gonna be able to try to push that in and make that look nice. So that's what I'm gonna do today and I'm gonna show you how it looks when I'm done. And over here, when I really got the car, I, I installed this black vinyl because um, I like the way that it looked with the Yofa front because all this looks black with the bottom black, but I'm gonna be re removing this. I kind of had a hard time doing this because um, this front end is not the same as a 2018 through 19 it had, sort of has like a different shape so what i had to do i got like a piece of paper and i put it like right here at this angle and i just followed the line straight across that way and same thing over here 
just followed down and it, and it came out perfect. Like it's not as big as the other one, but it actually follows the line of the front end. If you guys are interested in doing that, just uh, buy yourself a piece of vinyl and then uh, follow this little curve right here straight down and over here, it comes out nice. So this is how I taped it up. On this one, I did it all the way to the edge, like uh, almost on top of the corner. On both sides, I added a lot of little tape right there. Now what I'm gonna do is just gonna heat it up and push it down. So check it out. I painted the, the black piece, the color of the car. I seen a red one that had the, a red spoiler and he had it painted red and it looked dope. So shout out to JNL Auto Body for painting this for me. It came out good. So he's gonna go down here and then he's gonna make the lip all gray. I'm taking off these tapes, or sometimes they're like really difficult. What I like to use is um, either like a razor blade and try to get the edges because sometimes it's hard. So, but I have this uh, like a vinyl picker. It makes it a little bit easier, but it's still difficult. So I'm gonna just do it like to right here, the tape. And then I'm gonna do the other side because what I'm gonna try to do is um, with the middle part, push it in, hold it in with the screws with the middle part. And um, so I'm gonna wait to take this tape off. So that way when I put the middle part, I'll be able to push it back and screw it on and then take off the tape. See if it stays where I want it to stay. On the right side, I had, since when I barely got it, I, I had problems. As you can see the right there, the it's bent a lot, a lot right there. So what I'm gonna to do is I'm gonna try to heat it up pretty good and uh, see if I could bend it or something. You know? Or like so it could stay in the shape that I want it to be. So in the middle, I'm just gonna put the the tabs and then the screws. So put the the two tabs in there, and I'm gonna get this. The, uh, I'm gonna get it and push the whole thing in like that, and then I'm gonna screw it in. See if that holds in place where I want it to. All right, so I did right here. I had my dad help me just combine this one and this one with a push pin and some two screws that I added in the bottom. And then now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna peel the tape off, push it in. Peel the tape off, push it in, and then screw down this middle piece. But I'm gonna start with the back sorry, side and see if the tape holds with the screws 
that I can get as close as I can. We'll be here on this side. All right, it's done. Um, so after I had did that, that first the step that I said right now, I ended up taking off the screws again. And then uh, right here, yeah, there's a gap right here, a little gap right here. But over here is pretty much touching. Over here is like, okay, and there's another little gap right there. But uh, that it didn't look bad. So I ended up taking the screws off again, where I put the tabs in the bottom right there. And then I, that was after I had put the, the other screws in the, on, on this part on the back side i don't want to do them in the front right here because it looks like if i do them they're going to be like too much you'll be able to see the hole if i ever take it off or anything it'll be too much in the front of the lip so i'm, just, I'm not gonna put those it does need them but if i make the hole there then the hole's almost gonna be like showing it's gonna look ugly so um so i ended up taking off the two screws i pushed this back in as, as much as i could to get rid of this gap and i made two new holes that screw on this to this and it actually holds it pretty good so that's how it looks so it came out pretty good now uh, shout out to glenn osborne for telling me that that it would look nice with a painted um front right there on the black piece uh actually does look good i'm gonna give you some better shots right now on how it looks but this is a installation without the weather strip it came out good it actually looks a little bit better then with that black weather strip you just have to make sure you um you um you fit it right and make sure that you know it's gonna fit right before you even try to put it on so um on the back part right here where i was telling you um, I'm gonna wait a little while to see if the tape holds up. If, if not, I'm gonna make the little hole back here and just uh, put the little screw right there. A little tiny screw, nothing big or nothing, so that way it could hold in place. All right, she's done. Check it out. All right, that's gonna be another video. Um, thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, see you on the next one.